All right, how's it going everybody? Hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna be unboxing and giving a review of Kenneth Cole Reaction. This is a Eau de Toilette fragrance for men. I just picked up a 15 mil, it was only like five bucks. Um, and this one was actually recommended to me by a subscriber. So at Commander Junior, shout out to you, man. Um, I took your advice and I threw it in the, uh, in the old basket. So we'll see what I think about it, okay? This one was uh, released in 2004 and it scores pretty decently well on Fragrantica with a 4.07, okay? So um, it's, a, it's a citrus aromatic kind of aquatic ozonic fragrance um, with top notes of melon, watermelon, green apple, lemon, and lime, right? So melon and watermelon, you guys know what I'm thinking, Calone, right? Um, and then, you know, green apple, obviously that could be anything, the ethyl 2 methyl butyrate, manzanate, things like that. Um, and then middle notes of patchouli and lily of the valley, okay, so lily all, things like that. Um, and then base notes of musk and sandwood. So it sounds like a really good fresh fragrance. They're not using any uh, woods that are too, you know, over overbearing or anything, sandalwood, and then just musk in it. No patchouli or anything dark and, and sort of dirty in it. Um, so it should be a nice aquatic uh, fragrance. So let's unbox it right here. I can get this thing open. There we go. All right. And here is the box. Uh, nothing too crazy about it, but again, this is a 15 milliliter, so it's just a little small thing. Um, but it does have a, a, an actual atomizer on it. It's not like a little splash EDT, right? Okay, so Kenneth Cole reaction. The bottle itself is nice, a little bit thicker glass on the bottom, um, and it has a slight green tinge to the glass, and then of course the juice inside is clear, which is nice. Um, most of the time you want the juice to be clear. If it clouds up, then that just means that you accidentally created a shift base in your, in your fragrance oil, which is fine, that happens. Uh, usually I try to avoid creating a shift base reaction. Um, so the cap itself is mostly plastic with just a tiny bit of metal around it. That's okay. It has a decent weight to it. And then the atomizer and the collar itself are both metal. Very nice, especially for a little 15 mil EDT spray. They, uh, they, they actually put some money into it. All right, let's give it a smell. Decent atomizer for a small one, for a little mini atomizer. Not bad. Yeah. I can smell it from here. I can smell the cologne, guys. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, very ozonic, very aquatic. That melon, oh. You know, you can use things like melanol, but melanol itself is very, uh, very harsh. So you have to use a tiny bit of melanol, mostly cologne, and then a little bit of something sweet, you know, ethyl maltol and maltol. Very nice, very well done. I get a little bit of that green apple. They're adding just some green notes, you know, nothing too crazy. Could have even been an aldehyde, like a, you know, a C6 aldehyde, which has a little bit of a green apple note to it, but it keeps it soapy and light, you know, just a little something. Maybe some lemon and some lime. Very nice and fresh, very aquatic. Lily of the Valley. Lily is a great uh, it's a great floral to use in your aquatic fragrances. If you're trying to build a good aquatic, you need something light. Watery Lily is really great. Recently, they've uh, they've kind of restricted how much Lily All uh, you can use in in your fragrances. So they're having to go different routes uh, to create that Lily of the Valley note, but this is very well done. And yeah, there's some patchouli, but uh, I don't think they put very much of it in there to you know kind of dirty it up and, and you know make it a little less fresh that's very nice it is a little weak but but the the melon note itself carries so that's nice uh, there's just not a whole lot to it i would see this very uh very well performing in summer and spring mostly summer though in the heat of summer then this will project just enough you know where it's not too much and it's not too little yeah very nice the smell itself, I would give easily an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I'm not sure how long it lasts. Let's see what other people are saying. Uh, they're saying it is relatively weak. Um, Jasper, what are you doing? Hey, sorry, that's my cat. Um, 
yeah, relatively weak longevity um, and then relatively intimate to moderate sillage. So I would agree, I would say, I guess it's moderate. Nothing too crazy, but again, it's an aquatic, guys. You can't expect these to be, you know, beast mode performers. Um, thank you for the recommendation, Commander Junior. Awesome recommendation. I've heard all you guys' other recommendations. Don't worry, I'm, I'm getting to it, you know. It's all, it's all happening, you know, uh, as, as things go. But yeah, awesome. I, I really like it. I would recommend it. It's an easy, safe blind buy. It was cheap, like... Yeah, you can't go wrong. Um, similar to kind of Nautica Voyage vibes, but a little bit different, more melony. I like the melon, I like that, that's nice. It's very aquatic, it feels very summery. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments if you do own it. Um, and let me know if you have any other, you know, recommendations like that, uh, that are kind of in that same vein. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.